Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity, I mean sorry not Unity tutorial. Welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So in today's Godot tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how input mapping works in Godot. So if you do enjoy this tutorial or you do learn something from it, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. And let's get right into it. So what you want to do first is uh, when you're in your Godot project, you want to go project and then project settings. And then you want to switch over to the input map tab. Now here we are on the input map menu and what you can do here is you can start adding new actions in. So how do we add in new actions? Well as you can see here we have this input field where it says add new action and what you do is you type in the name of your action. You can name it anything. You can literally name it a skibbity toilet if you really wanted to. But um, what we're going to be doing for uh, this tutorial is I'm just going to be adding in an action called forward. And the reason as to why I'm doing that is, you know, just as an example for, let's say for example, if you want to make your player move forward, uh, what you would do is you'd then add in a new action called forward or just something that, you know, you'll be able to remember. And then uh, what you want to do then is once you create new, your new action, you then click on this plus icon. And uh, since this is going to be the forward action, uh, usually the way the player will move forward in a PC game is by pressing the W key. So once you click on the plus icon, uh, it should then open up this event configuration menu. And when you're in the event configuration menu, you just press any key on your keyboard. So let's say, for example, because I'm making the forward action and I want the forward key to be W, what I would do is I'd press W. And now, as you can see, the event configuration menu has picked up the W key. And then uh, once you input your key and it's been detected, just press OK. And boom, as you can see, the forward action is now connected to the W key. Or I guess you could say that the W key is now connected to the forward action. You know, same thing pretty much. So uh, yeah. Now you can do this for all the other actions as well. So let's say, for example, you want to input, uh, you know, the player moving left. So you input the left action and then you press the plus icon. And usually how the player would move left in a PC game is by pressing A. So you'd press the A key and then boom, uh, you just press OK. And now, as you can see, the left action now has the A key connected up to it. Now, again, you can do this for uh, as many actions as you want. Pretty much uh, any action that's going to be in your game, such as if you're going to be interacting with items, moving your player, anything like that, you'll want to make sure that you have an input action for it uh, all set up. So again, like I said, if you want to interact with something, maybe uh, just have an input called interact. So there's our interact action. Press the plus icon and usually how a player might interact with something in a game is by pressing the E key. So we'll press E and then press OK, and then boom, the E key is then uh, connected up to the interact action. So yeah, so they're just a few examples there of, uh, you know, how to uh, do input mapping in Godot. So pretty much any action in your game, you'll just want to, uh, you know, add into this menu here, basically, and then connect up all your keys to it. And by the way, you don't just have to do uh, keyboard actions as well. You can also do a controller too. So let's say, for example, um, with your forward action, you want to have both the W key and, uh, you know, like the left joystick of a controller connected up to it. Well, you can actually do that. Now, I don't have a controller connected up to my uh, PC right now, but if I did, I'll show you guys as an example what you would do. But um, if you don't have a controller connected up to your PC currently, uh, what else you could do is you could press the plus icon on whatever action you want to. So let's say, for example, um, I pressed uh, the plus icon on the forward action. So I want to add uh, another input to the forward action. So what you would do is you'd go to your uh, joy joypad buttons, I think it is, or joypad axes, any one of these. I think it's a joypad axes actually for the, uh, the sticks of a controller. And what you would do is you'd then select any one of these uh, joypad axes uh, for the uh, action. So if I had my controller connected up, I could just move the joystick forward and then the input would be detected, then I could press OK. But yeah, if you don't have one connected up already, then what you would want to do is you just want to like uh, basically choose an action manually. So let's say, for example, I want the player to move forward. So I uh, want the joystick to move up. So I'll just press this and then press OK. 
And then boom, as you can see, not only does the forward action have a W key connected up to it, but it now has a joystick connected to it as well. So when you're uh, making actions in the input mapping uh, menu, right, uh, you don't have to do, um, you know, just one key per action. You can have multiple keys if you want to as well. So if you want to have your player moving left with both the A key and the left joystick, you can do that. Or if you want your player to interact with both the E key and the X button on a controller, you can do that too. You don't have to create uh, separate actions for all just the singular keys or, you know, inputs. You can just do it. You can just um, have multiple keys or multiple buttons per uh, action. So, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is, since I've shown you guys uh, how to actually put in new actions into the input map menu, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be showing you guys an example of how to get your actions working. So what I'm going to do is, um, as you can see here, I've already got like a very basic scene set up here with just a camera and a cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my cube and then I'm going to create a new script for it. So how you create a new script is you just click on an object and then you scroll to the bottom and you should see the script section called empty. Just press on this and then create a new script. So I'm just going to create this script and call it um, example uh, input. So that's going to be the name of this script. And I'm going to make sure I put it in my uh, scripts folder as well. If you don't have a scripts folder, that's fine. Just put it wherever you want. You can even create a scripts folder if you want to. So then you go create. And now here we are in the menu. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get rid of the func ready since we won't need that function. So after you remove the uh, ready stuff from your script, uh, what I'm going to be doing for this example of the tutorial is we're going to be using the process function since this is a function that happens every frame and basically any action that you you know do in this function will be inputted at all times and will be detected at all times so that's why we're going to be using the process function so what you want to do is uh, in your process function you want to go uh, if input oops sorry need to do a space there if input dot is action just pressed now you don't have to do is action just pressed since um as you can see here when i'm actually typing so if we go if is action as you can see there's like um a few different options you can choose from so uh if the input action is pressed so if it's just been pressed or if it's just been released so let's say for example you're holding on a key and then you release the key that's what just released is and then is action pressed is where you're just like holding down the key, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So what I'm going to be doing for this tutorial is I'm just going to be doing is action just pressed. And then parentheses. And then what you want to do is you then want to do um, just uh, quotation marks. And then you want to, uh, in the quotation marks, put the name of your action in that you want to do. So let's say, for example, um, as you guys know, I have a forward, left, and interact action in the input map menu. So what I'm going to do for this example of the tutorial is I'm going to put in forward, since that is my action. Oh, and also, um, I forgot to put the P here for pressed. So um, what you want to do is um, you just want to put in the name of your action, so it can be anything, whether it's interact, left, forward, whatever your interaction, I mean, whatever your uh, action's name is. And then we're just going to put the two dots here, and then we're going to indent. So what I'm going to be doing for this script is, uh, whenever we press the forward action key, the cube will toggle its visibility, so it will become invisible or visible uh, whenever we press the key, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go visible equals not visible meaning that uh, whenever we press this key here, the cube will go the opposite of what its visibility is. So if the cube is currently visible, it'll be turned to invisible. If it's invisible, it'll be turned to visible. So yeah, that's what will happen whenever we press the forward action key. And so uh, yeah, so once you get all that done, and your uh, script is all made, because that is pretty much just this uh, basic script for this tutorial, uh, nothing else. And then uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to click on this uh, run current scene button here so then we can run the current scene. And boom, so once I press this uh, W key, as you can see, the visibility of the uh, 
of the cube is toggled, so currently I'm pressing the W key, which is uh, connected to the forward action. And as you can see, the cube is toggling its visibility. So uh, yeah, so that there is just an, a, bit, a basic example of uh, how input mapping works in Godot. So once you input your, uh, your actions into the input map menu and you name them what you need to name them, when you actually start doing your scripting, uh, you can actually uh, put in those actions names in the uh, uh, input section of your script. And then whenever you actually press the uh, button that that action is connected to, then it will do whatever you, you know, have that script doing. So for my script, I have it so then whenever I'm pressing the W key, the uh, visibility of the cube gets toggled. And that's, yeah, what it's doing. So anyways guys, that is the end of this tutorial on how input mapping works in Godot. Uh, sorry if my explanation wasn't the best. It is a pretty easy thing to understand, I just feel like I didn't really explain it the best in this tutorial. Uh, I feel like I try to over explain things sometimes to make sure you guys understand it the best possible. But yeah, I always try to really explain things well so then you guys do understand them uh, as good as possible. Uh, if you do find this tutorial uh, quite good, and uh, you do like it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to maybe even follow me over on Twitter, at Omegonics, since I do post over there quite a bit. And also, uh, be sure to maybe even check out my games at omegonicslachlan.itch.io. And uh, yeah, so again, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, and yeah, see you all soon. Bye-bye.